We continue to recognize Black History Month tonight by looking at the legacy of a man who continues to make political history, former Virginia Governor Doug Wilder. He is the first black governor in the United States and was the first black man elected to statewide office in Virginia. At 92 years old, he continues to make an impact on Richmond and Central Virginia's major universities. Kurt Archery has a look at how Wilder has made his mark. He is a son of Richmond's Churchill neighborhood and the grandson of James and Agnes, two slaves who toiled on a Goochland County plantation. And when this precocious child was born in 1931, no one could have guessed he would grow up to become America's first African-American governor and the Commonwealth's most influential politician of the 20th century. That whites don't like it, blacks don't like it. No one likes it except those who benefit them from. On this day, Governor Wilder is fired up about the lack of transparency and the deal that sent many of Richmond's Confederate statues to the Black History Museum and Cultural Center, suggesting it's no place for relics of the Civil War. At 92, his mind is sharp. He has an opinion on most current events. And while he doesn't like talking about the past much, his historic and colorful resume is hard to ignore. Wilder attended Virginia Union University. After college, he was drafted into the Army, where he volunteered for combat. In 1953, at the famous Battle of Porkchop Hill, Sergeant Wilder and two other soldiers found themselves cut off from their unit and were about to become prisoners. But Wilder turned the tables on the enemy by bluffing, convincing 19 North Korean soldiers to surrender, a move that won him the Bronze Star. After the war, he worked at the state toxicology lab, saving enough money to put himself through law school at Howard University. Soon after, a successful law practice, and then a call to public service, first in the state Senate. Then in 1986, he was elected lieutenant governor, becoming the first African-American to hold statewide office in Virginia. And in 1989, he won the governor's mansion, becoming the first African-American governor in the country. Along the way, Wilder became well known as someone who consistently put people over party, something in today's divisive political climate he fears most politicians are no longer willing to do. I am very concerned, Kurt, that the nation, not just here in Virginia, the nation is headed to us and them, and uh, that's not good. But crossing the aisle wasn't always easy. Case in point, in the early 70s, Republican Governor Linwood Holden wanted to create a cabinet system so he could appoint various secretaries with the goal of streamlining government and to save money. But Democrats hated the idea, except one. When that vote came about, I cast a tie-breaking vote uh, against leaders of my party. And they thought it was the worst thing in the world, voting with him with him? I said, yes, I, I, I am voting with him because I happen to believe in it. The name L. Douglas Wilder is indelibly etched on the city of Richmond and likely will be for generations to come. There is the Wilder School of Government and Public Affairs at Virginia Commonwealth University, the Wilder Library at his alma mater, Virginia Union, and a building named in his honor at Virginia State. And while the recognition is certainly a source of pride, it's not something he thinks about much. Do you allow yourself to think of how you'll be remembered? No, I don't. I don't give any thought to how I'll be remembered. The only thing that I would like to be remembered uh, for is that I did the best I could with what I had. That's all I would like to be remembered for. And I encourage most people, particularly the young people, do the best you can with what you got. Kurt Autry, NBC 12. Thank you, Kurt. And all month long, NBC 12 is on your side, sharing stories of people and organizations making history and a difference across Virginia. You can watch them anytime by going to our website, NBC12.com, or our free mobile news app. Accurate.